awarded. Wow, sangat. Direct Jason Paul. Let's say a few things first about Pendu. Direct po ka direct. Dito ka dito ka dito. Okay. Hello. Hi, direct. Ayun. So, surprise. Surprise. Okay, so I'm very honored na sa akin na napunta itong pag-direct ni Penduko. I've seen the past films and the comics. And what I love about Penduko is, kasi ako po, hindi nyo na itatanong, before I became a filmmaker, I was a culture worker. So, um, <laughs> na pressure ako sa wow. Um, ang ang talagang thrust na ginagawa ko nun, using film or video to promote Filipino culture, especially sa hometown ko sa Pampanga. So now, after doing a couple of romance films to you know break through the industry, I want to uh, get in touch again dun sa side ko na yun, na using media to promote culture. And ang kagandahan sa Penduko, he can really be a platform to serve that purpose. Kasi diba, napakalapit ng world niya sa Filipino folklore, sa culture. So, that's my vision for Pinduko this time around. To reimagine him as uh, a character, uh, comic book character na magugustuhan ng current generation and at the same time use him as a platform to promote Filipino martial arts, culture, folklore sa bagong generation. So, kaya I'm both excited and overwhelmed nito sa project na to. Because you know me as a filmmaker doing all these romance dramas. Um, you might see na parang bakit siya tatalon siya sa ganitong genre. Um, sa kaibuturan po na aking puso, mas malapit po ang mga ganitong genre. Sa, kasi po, sa ganito po ako lumaki. This is the first time, di ba? Um, I did a horror film na medyo may ganyan sa ibang studios pero yes it's the first parang time parang ano fantasy talaga oh, yeah. full on fantasy action yes yes uh, yes I can consider it my first time yeah, and I'm very excited parang, originally di ba it, it was dapat hindi ikaw yung original na magdirect dapat oh, po parang nagpalit di ba dalawang directors yata <laughs> oo oh, oh, nagpalit tapos sa uh, mawala si James in fairness naman to you ikaw dyan talaga dito kay ano kay Mateo Palit ka at watra si James, ikaw ang pumalit. Kay James? Jason. 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 Ano po yun? Sorry. I think so. It's the biggest. It's the most challenging. Epic in scale. I'm very excited. Kailan ang start ng principal? Right now, I'm still finishing the script. Kasi ako rin po yung writer. Nangangalahati na po ako. So, Tignan natin, siguro, hopefully, this year pa rin mag-start. How different is this from the three, may tatlo na kasing nauna, dalawang Jano at saka yung Efren Reyes Sr. So, anong kaibahan nyo? Yung mga, sige, let's start with the Jano Gibbs version. It's more of on the comedy side. Meron pa rin naman comedic elements itong re-imagining ko ng Pendu ko. Pero I want... I want Pinduko to look cool sa mga millennials especially. Baga, I want the millennial, the Filipino millennials to see Pinduko as a character na hindi mo siya pagtatawanan lang. Hahangaan mo siya the same way that we uh, look up to all these superheroes na galing sa ibang bansa. Ganun ang vision ko for Pinduko. To just cut it short for a while, this Pinduko movie is a project of Viva Films and Epic Studios, produced by Epic Studios, who's also a partner of Signal. Okay, we'll bring in a new director also. He's the action director. IP, IP. Yeah. IP, 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 I
Ah, uh, hindi naman kami nag-usap. Ito naman pinadrawin ko sa artist ko para na medyo na-invite, na-invite. Meant to be the editor. Sige, sige pero hindi ito yung sphere na ganyan. Hindi, hindi pa yun yung ano lang yun. Temporary. Train pang training lang. Bagay eh. No? Bagay. Perfect. 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 Actually, this is the first time that kita talaga kami. Physically met, first time. Uh-oh. So we have a lot to discuss pa about Chura, what he speaks, culture, everything. But what, as Derek said, he's also he's from Cebu, he's from Bisaya. So that's one thing that we can develop more. And then of course, yung mga, yung mga fights dito, no? Um, every day kapag pumupunta ako sa Ninja Academy, sa gym ni, ni Derek, it's always something new ba? His, his fighting style is very very different, very beautiful when you when you watch it in, in, in TV in the screen. So it's gonna be different, very different. Well how did you achieve when I was in the military for 45 days, I lost 15 pounds in a month. And then uh, I just came out, I did a three week uh, course for the military, airborne. So, uh, airborne, parachute. So we had three week uh, ground training. And of course, with direct, uh, direct training, physical conditioning, and everything, uh, all of this helps to. For the film. Sorry. So, magagamit mo sa movie yung mga training mo sa scout training? Oo oh, naman, magagamit talaga sa buhay. Ano, <laughs> sa buhay. <laughs> sa kahit anong, ano, you know, discipline, never giving up commitment. You know, all of this uh, is all taught and is all revived by a soldier. Mateo, did you remind that you were in those stories to do the movie? No naman, no. I just, you know, I actually just moved to Viva a few months ago. So I think this is one of the first he things. Happy yes, when Boswick told me and Sinister told me, uh, you're going to be the next Pedro Pindoko. So I was like, wow, let's do it. Let's start now. <laughs> so I was happy. So after a few months of been training, hopefully we're going to finally begin. And according to Direk Sunny yesterday, you're ready for the role. Thank so, you. You know, Jackson. Okay. Ready. <laughs> Same time, nakita namin na may need for a very commercial director to be a talent. Even yung success rate ni Jason Bolati sa mga movies na ginagawa niya. Hindi namin mas makukommunicate niya yung kwento ni Pinduho sa mas maraming tao. Hindi lang dun sa fanboy, hindi hindi sa graphic novel. So, yun yung isang major decision kung bakit kami namin better work with the Jason Bolati. Among many other projects na niluto ako ng Mateo, exciting din. <laughs> Kasi may lapay lang po ba nung paglipat ni Mateo? Siya na yung kinonsider niya napapalit. Or parang meron kayo... Hindi ko lang ito yung timeline eh. Pero eventually para... About a month after. Yeah. A month after paglipat niya, nag-usap kami yung hindi pinduto. Mateo's name was... Parang unanimously suggested. Mateo said, aside from mga physical aspects, what do you think yung mga qualities, traits, that he's a normal boy from the Visayas region. <laughs> I think that's one of the big things, and he's proud to be Filipino, proud to be Visaya, and he 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 holds that cultural values. Ba? That he wants to represent. He's from the Visayas region. He's Visaya. He's a Filipino. So I think that's what Pindugo will also talk about. Be a Filipino and will show the world how great and how good a Filipino. Uh, a Filipino individual is Yung Tagalog ni Pedro Penduco mas 
mas malalim dito. Hindi, <laughs> Bisaya ito eh. Bisaya. Ah, okay. So, no need to ano. Tapos na tayo dun sa malalim, sa bagani, malalim yun. Oo, <laughs> 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 yun nga eh, di ba? So, so, wala bang ganun. Wala bang ganun. Wala bang ganun.